Thank you for coming to our very first musical of Adventure Montessori. I feel like you're going to really enjoy the storyline. Um, our students have worked very hard. This was very much born in the heart of Miss Stephanie to do this musical. So we are fulfilling one of her dreams, and mine as well now. I was a little worried about it. <laughs> but anyway, this very first scene is going to start off with all our primaries. So if you'll just sit back and enjoy, and I wish you all a very Merry Christmas. Maria Montessori's life was dedicated to discovering and nurturing the true identity of a child. For this reason, our story begins when she was a child. Maria was born in Italy in 1870 to a respectful father and cultured free-thinking mother. She attended state-run Italian schools, which were much different than the type of schools she later developed. Children were not free to move around, but had to sit very still on their desks. We'll show you what it was like.
Yeah, Maria did well in school, but she didn't be a teacher, and you can imagine why. But, unfortunately, teaching is the unrespectable job for a woman to do in those days. And Alessandro Montessori is not happy about his daughter's ambition to break the mold. Papa, I have decided that I want to go to technical school to learn science and math to become an engineer. <laughs> but Maria, technical schools are for boys. Engineers are boys. Instead, you should be a teacher. But Papa, I believe I've told you that I do not wish to become a teacher. Yes, I do recall you saying something to that effect. And I haven't changed my mind. Yes, but Maria, being, being a teacher is a respectful occupation for and besides, people talk badly about you and me if you try to do something else. But I'm just as good as any boy in math and science. I'm perfectly capable. No, no, no. I've made my mind up. You will be a teacher, and that's the end of it. But Papa, please not a teacher. Anything but that. A teacher, be a teacher. How can I survive the dull and dreary life of a teacher, a school teacher? Anything, anything but that. Maria, oh Maria, it just isn't done this way. Oh, what will people say, Maria? Maria, don't bring me disgrace. Just take the woman's place. I cannot do as you ask. Think of the scandal it would make. I'm ready for the task. Think of my feelings, for goodness sake. Think of my future. Think of your daughter. stopped you from doing wonderful and important things. I also have important things to do. Then you deliberately defy me. I will pursue my education with or without your blessing. Someday he'll see this is right for me, cause his little girl will change the world somehow. Though he tried, Alessandro could not dissuade his strong-willed daughter from her chosen course. Maria studied math and science at the local technical school. At 20, she enrolled at the University of Rome and became an excellent student, but her struggles were far from over. <laughs> because she was female, she was not allowed to attend the daytime anatomy class with the male students, so she had to study alone at dusk. By candlelight, she faced her greatest fears and almost gave up. Okay, guys, let's try, let's try not to scare her too much.
Is this your first time at the anatomy lab, Siganua Montessori? Yes, ma'am. Yes, it is. It sure does get dark here in the evenings. Oh, don't worry. I'm not afraid of the dark. Well, good luck. Your professor will be here in 15 minutes. Don't be silly, Maria. Those skeletons don't actually move, do they? Come, come, these are only feelings. Sensations must be overcome. Come, these are only feelings. Surely the skeleton does not move. Must be overcome, calm. These are only feelings. The mind plays tricks that I'll just ignore. Just what are you doing in here? Studying to be a doctor. You are trembling from the fear. I have a course I will not veer. Dad was right. Well, 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 time for your first lesson on the human anatomy. Let's get it into it, shall we? I'm I'm sorry, I have to go. Wait, where are you going? There's nothing to be afraid of. Uh, I hate being here by myself. But Maria didn't quit after all. She had a prophetic experience that renewed her courage. She made history when she graduated, becoming the first female doctor of medicine in Italy. Her father reluctantly attended her senior lecture and found himself being congratulated by everyone for his daughter's great success. Alessandro's proud heart softened and he and Maria were reconciled. After graduation, Maria focused on treating children with intellectual disabilities, which is what led her to us. Welcome to the Hospital of Rome, Dr. Montessori. Thank you, Signora. I'm told that you will come to visit, visit up us from time to time to treat the sick ones. That is correct, and I'm also interested in their education. Education, ha! Huh? These children do not receive an education. Do you see them? They can barely even feed themselves. Their minds are useless. Perhaps unused. Please tell me where are their playthings? Do they have any toys or games? No, and what difference would it make? 
It's like we said earlier, these children are incapable of learning. Just watch. You'll see. There's a hunger in my hands They help my mind to grow The fingers are the instruments That form all that I know But as you can see I'm as starved as can be I'm a foregone conclusion No one sees what I could be Did you read the cover story this morning? Mentally disabled children pass state examinations. Let me see that. What does it say? What does it say? Yes, please read it out loud. A group of mentally disabled children recently passed the state reading and writing exam, scoring as well or better than the average Italian student. These children have achieved the success as a result of an experiment in sensorial education carried out by Dr. Maria Montessori. Keep the doctor is a woman? The first doctor in Italy? Otto, haven't I been telling you that women can do more than you think? Yes, I'm starting to believe you now. Keep reading. Dr. Montessori has established the Orthophrenic School of Rome, where she teaches special education techniques. She carries on her own private medical practice, and she's a favorite lecturer at the University of Rome. 
unbelievable. It's incredible. It's about time. Maria was celebrated for her success, but she did not like the results. If her disabled children got to the same scores as their average children, what's wrong with the Italian school system? In time, she was invited to teach regular children, poor children in Rome. It was called Casa dei Bambini, which means children's house. This is where she made her most amazing discoveries about childhood. Maria Montessori's work became known all over the world. Today, today there are tens of thousands of schools that bear her name. And many, many more which have been influenced by her ideas. So now you know the story of Maria Montessori. And how she discovered a mystery and a miracle. A miracle of us, the children of the world.